We begin on Danish morning television where what looks like their version of the Today Show is getting a look at a smart car. Only the car, which was stashed in a trailer to begin the segment, got a little too smart for its own good. Hvad er det, der ruller ud af, af bagenden på Concorde nu? Jamen, det er jo en C1, en, uh, en lille bil, som man nemt kan komme omkring. Uh, <laughs> den er jo lidt stor at flytte rundt på, så derfor så har vi en op. Oh, Øj, nej, 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 stop den. Snor han knækket. Nej, det er direkte fjernsyn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wonders of live television. Like a fuel-efficient night rider, the car backed out of the trailer and rolled all the way into the shrubbery. And now the guy that went belly-flopping after the smart car has a smarting back. To the wildlife Wonderland Park in Bass, Australia, where officials have discovered that one of their koalas has given birth to twins. They claim this is only the fifth time twin koalas have been born in captivity. The multiple birth was discovered after the mother rejected one of the twins. Zoo workers attempted to place the, oh, cute baby back with its mom when another koala head poked out of the pouch. Since there's only room for one baby in there, this little fellow will have to be hand weird. And early indications are he's going to need a few lessons in the whole drinking the milk thing. <laughs> to the WhiteHouse.gov website, where we find brand new video of the president voicing over a script for Disney World's famous Hall of Presidents attraction. Once recorded, the president's audio was flown back to the Magic Kingdom, where it will be synced up with an animatronic Obama. And soon, millions of visitors who didn't feel like waiting online for Space Mountain will listen to robot Obama's spiel on hope. But now, in an effort to save you the price of a five-day park hopper pass, here is the real President Obama reading his entire Hall of Presidents script. The American dream is as old as our founding, but as timeless as our hopes. It is reborn every day in the heart of every child who wakes up in a land of limitless possibilities. In a country where we the people means all. Yeah, you're going to have to pay to hear the rest. Finally, to action from the Canadian Football League, where we get the latest tribute to Michael Jackson during a game on Wednesday following a touchdown reception. Toronto Argonauts wide receiver Arlen Bruce paid homage to the late king of pop by removing his helmet and pads, laying down and playing dead. According to the Associated Press, quote, Bruce said he was honoring the memory of Jackson by pretending to be buried. The team was flagged for the morbid celebration, and today, just like the departed Jackson, Bruce is mired in debt after being fined by the league.